اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على من شقت الأسرار وانفلقت الأنوار وفيه ارتقت الحقائق وتنزلت علوم آدم فأعجز الخلائق سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم He is a wasila to al-Uzma. He is our the only mean. It is uh, in Sayyidina Abul Hasan al-Shadili. He said to, in one of his uh, in one of his uh, ahzab, he said, uh, "Treat me, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, with my sin. I'd rather sin in in a nutshell, and be a lover." Then, then do all righteous deeds and not be, be uh, beloved to you. Uh -huh. wow. So, the reason because is Allahumma salli alaihi muhabbat tajbur. If you if you have nothing else but muhabbat from Hadith and Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam, inna kama man ahabt aw al mar mar o man ahab in another Hadith that you are with the one whom you love. That Hadith. Sums it all up. This religion is, as Sheikh Idris says, it is about mahabba. لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى أكون أحبا إليه. لا يؤمن. There's your iman will never be come to to completion. Will never come to fruition unless and until we are muhibbin din Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And and that companion that used to get drunk, it is said fifty times they brought him to Prophet drunk. Fifty times, and the Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam never said to him. And next time he comes, don't even bring him to me. Don't even show me his face. If maybe three times something happens with us, or two times, we're done. <laughs> no more. Fifty times they brought him to Sayyid al-Mursalin, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and. He would apply the the punishment, and the next time he will go, and then they bring him again. And look at the mahabba, because Prophet Sallallahu testified testified that he that that person with all his shortcomings, and we are akhir zaman people, we have nothing but shortcomings. <laughs> it's not like we we have any anything to claim. May Allah forgive us all. But that person gives us all hope, and and makes make us not hope, make us also gives us wish that Ya Rabbi, such such mercy and such love and such beauty. That person, even when he's drunk, he's coming to the Prophet's house. <laughs> even he has that weakness, he has that intoxication, he has that addiction, but still, when he, even when he gets drunk, he ends up at the, at the door of Sayyidina Muhammad's house. <laughs> He could have. He could stay wherever he is and sleep it over, but he goes to Prophet. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Until one of the companions was fed up, and he says, May "Allah curse you." He said, "La'anak Allah," to him. And how many times are you gonna come and do this? Fifty times. Have you no shyness? And Prophet was upset. His face changed. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, don't, don't curse him. By Allah, he loves Allah and his Prophet. Mahabba. He said, that love is bringing him here. And he loves Allah and his Prophet. It's enough. We gather here because our teachers, not, this is not our, because our teachers taught us the secret, the secret to happiness, the secret to contentment, the secret to eternal happiness, the secret to dunya happiness, the secret to riches, the secret to, to whatever beauty you want to mention, is that relation and that love to Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The more we are understanding of his, of his greatness, the more our greatness increase. The more we honor and praise and revere his Prophet وسلم, the more we are also our stature and our status increase. Because that that nisbah, he's Habibullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us to do many maulid sidi. And we're sad that, that you are leaving. We just met. But inshallah, our, our hearts and souls, inshallah, once, once, once we together, we'll be together here and hereafter, inshallah. And in Medina, inshallah, we'll come to see.